I like fishing, Dad. Oh, hey guys, welcome back, MFers. We're doing some ice fishing. I know it's shocking. We got the hut yes! set up. We crushed some fish. If you watched the last video, we caught some smallmouth. We got a walleye in there. We're actually gonna cook, and we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook these first, and then we're gonna fillet them afterwards. No, we're gonna fillet these guys up. We're gonna cook them and see how the hell smallmouth bass taste for the first ever time on my channel. And something else we're gonna do probably first is we're gonna go do some splore, and there's giant walleye, perch, pike, crappie, everything else in this lake right here. So we need to go do some splore. And I got Stash Man with me in case you guys are wondering. I know you've never seen him before on this channel. Uh, his first time actually fishing. He's never fished before. Uh, first time, I'm first, a first timer. First time fishing, thought I would take him out today. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing some ice fishing up here about six hours from home. This is our last day up here. So we're just kind of exploring. We're, we don't really know what we're doing. We're fishing a lake we never fished before. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully go catch some absolute donks. Now we're gonna set some tip ups up. We're gonna do all different types of different fun stuff. We got some minners in here. We got some giant chubs down there somewhere. So we're gonna set some of those up. We're gonna go some, do some trophy hunting and we're going to uh, cook up some of those small mouths. So it's gonna be a fun one. He was just in his mouth. Got him that time. Bigger? I can't tell, no. Peckering head. That was around my transducer a million times. It is a small to mouth to bass. Not a big one like we're looking for, folks. But hey, we're in the hut. We're warming up. And you're catching smallmouth once again at our new location. I <coughs> hope you guys liked the video the other day, but it's not a big one. We're looking for big ones now. But catching nope. smallmouth. Double. Yep. Doubled up. Get this guy back in the water. <coughs> Let's see what Joshua's got. He's thinking about growing. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Baby rod situation. Uh... Oh, that's a better one. Yeah, that ain't bad. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's my biggest for sure. Yep. Okay, two pound test was a bad idea. Let's be a little careful here, small mouth. <laughs> I'm not going to bluegill today. <laughs> they really don't like to put their head in that hole, man. No, they There's don't. There's a lot of species that don't, but the smallmouth really don't seem to want to. That's nice one, man. Huge. Yeah, babe. Huge, but no, it's, it's not. My, but it's, that's it's that's definitely sweet. my biggest. He freaking got eyes. that thing too. Look at that. Dude. Swedish pimple. Eyes. That's the bait right there. It's probably from coming up from 30 feet of water. It probably is. Bulged out a little bit. Donk. Fishing that deep water. Donk. Sick. All right, as you guys can see, we are on them. If you could drop the poles, that'd be great. We're trying to eat here. <laughs> yeah. and we're freaking, we got wall eyes to eat. We got smallmouth to eat. And you're being a jerk. That's the okay one. Ah, no, he's not. He's he's magnified. A little, it's a little magnify action. Okay, hooked up with something larger. Oh, bud. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, Smalley. Good Smalley. He's just, he's not that big even. He's just I got one too. 72 feet over. Come here, oh, bud. Oh. Get your head through that hole, you prick. God, he's mean. This is like the hardest fighting fish I've caught in a long time. That's a good one, man. You bet. <laughs> Hell yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. We're gonna double, double, dude. That's a tank. It's not an absolute giant. That's just another like two and a half pounder through the ice. Freaking love it. Joshua's hooked up. Mine's not terrible. I don't think mine's as big as yours though. That's dude, a nice one, man. so badass. This lake is freaking sick, dude. Didn't know if we we're gonna come out here and catch any, but we've been moving around a lot and it's we're doing it. There's more down there too. I know there is. I see them on the screen. That's crazy, dude. Good one. Good one. Ah. Fatty. Fatty A and B. Heck yeah, Hell yeah, man. Doubled up. Dirty. Just using that same Swedish pimple with the little wax worm. Smoked the walleyes on them. Now we're smoking the small Jews on them. All right, Mr. Small Jew. Thank you for playing. Yeah, yours is too big to keep, but. That was just awesome. That was so fun. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, came off. That was another big one, man. Was it? Yeah. On to the next one. Joshua's hooked up. Is it the world record? Giant! I'm done! <laughs> big <laughs> Damn it! That's okay. That's all right. 
That's all right. Hey, it's a, it's the right species. I just got two bites pretty quick. So yeah. I just drilled a new hole, so I better go catch a fish out of it. Oh, come on. I know it's scary to look at it. It's so scary to look at that spoon. It's mean looking. But just bite it. Just bite it. Josh says this is the juice. I need to get myself another cricket on so I can investigate the juice. What are you seeing here? This is all fish. Oh, God. That's the bottom. I can drop down to all. I know, I probably can't see very much because I got such an old piece of technology. <laughs> I just dropped down a egg sinker to see how deep it is. It's about eight knots right here. It's not a complete pile of shit. Dude, I know. There we go. Oh, that guy just leaned on it. Please be big. Please be big. Yeah. You gotta go in circles around the hole. <laughs> Trophy small mouth kind of, not really. I'll take him. I will take him. Sick. Another well, good and not a, not a giant giant, but the spoon is getting it done. That one just kind of came up and leaned on it and there's more down the hole. So we get this guy, throw him back. Get him unhooked first, of course. Not a big one, but God, these are freaking fun. All right, bud, what'd you catch? Um, what you got over here, hmm? I think it's a bluegill. That's a, a yellow tail. It's a yellow tail tuna? A barred, a barred <laughs> yellow tail. There we go. Oh, I got a big one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Not a giant, but a better one. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I keep getting excited over two pound smallmouth like they're giant, but they feel so freaking good. Bug eyes. Woo yeah, bugged out. His eyes are like rock solid bugged out because I just pulled him out of 24 feet of water. It's just a sexual thing. I just love it. Love it, Josh. There we go. Hooked up with another. What do we got here? Oh my God, a new species. A rock bass. Yeah, big one. I knew he was a different species the way he rolled in, man. What is that thing? Look at that. What do you got, Dad? I got myself a Rocky. I've never even caught a rock bass before. That thing's cool. Yeah, they're super cool, man. Yeah. They're chunky and delicious. Big in? I don't think he's off the ass. Still got him? Giant! <laughs> Little bean. Little baby guy. So fun though. They're just a blast. Love it! Okay guys, been fishing for a while. We never got the trophy smallmouth bass, but we did get several like these right here. These super, super nice ones. Now, we always practice selective harvest. We don't want to keep too many big smallmouth, obviously. These are not trophy smallmouths. As you guys have seen in this video, probably the last one as well, this lake is loaded. There's so many smallmouth. A lot of them are stunted, clearly. There's tons of 10 to 13, 14 inch smallmouth. So that's an awesome opportunity to take advantage. It's a five fish limit per person. We didn't even get our limit today. We weren't gonna keep that many smallmouth, but we kept plenty or enough for dinner anyway. So I've never cooked and cleaned smallmouth on this channel. And it's actually a fish that I've eaten grown up quite a bit. Smallmouth come from a lot of clean water habitats, cooler water habitats. These guys coming straight out of the ice are gonna be absolutely freaking amazing. So we're gonna clean these guys up and then we're gonna set up the hut, get warmed up a little bit and cook them up. Joshua has a secret recipe. All right, so we're just gonna clean these guys up like any other fish. We'll, we'll do one of these small ones to get kind of warmed up. By the way, using a, a portable little station here so we can use our electric knife out on the water. It's made by a company called Jackery. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. But this is pretty slick. I get to run my electric knife out on the freaking ice. Pretty damn slick. So just go down to the spine. We're gonna take it all the way, ride that spine down to the tail. And check out how white this meat is, guys. It's like a crappie or something. Pow, absolutely delicious. It's gonna be probably just as good as this walleye we ate up the other day. All right, so then we got this, this beautiful white meat filet. Just need to trim the rib cage off. So we're gonna come down here, go right behind the ribbies, kind of pull up the whole way through. Do it right there for bones. Pow, absolutely delicious white meat. I can't wait to cook these up. You guys are gonna have to see how they taste. All right, guys, just got everything set up to uh, cook these smallies. 
a little bit chilly in the hut here, um, but we needed some shelter, so we're gonna we're gonna cook them up. Now we got a little bit of oil in there, and we're gonna batter them up, and we're gonna give these small mouths a try. If you can see anything that's happening right now, it's just a little, it's a little bit foggy. The oil is rather hot right there, and we got some batter mixture right there, which is this guy, the old Louisiana fish and fry. And then what are we using before we dump it in that, Josh? Oh, it's such a secret recipe. No one's ever done that before. It's so original. Actually, I'm kind of excited to see how it tastes. It's to, you said it tastes like wings, people are saying? Yeah, I've never even tried it, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Potential wingage. Secret's All right, out. The secret is out, folks. Glug, glug. Whoa! That's good. We don't need to use it all. <laughs> Frankie the smallmouth. Well guys, we have a, a large mess after trying to use Frank's as battering material. Everything just fell apart. I'm sure it's still going to taste good, but I think this is going to serve as a, a moment to tell you guys that um, maybe Frank's is the best possible thing to use as batter. So, future reference. We'll see how it, it turns out taste-wise. Well, that's the end result. Uh, doesn't look the prettiest, but I think it's going to taste good. It looks looks delicious still, just kind of everything fell off a little bit, a little bush action. Time for a taste test. You definitely taste the pranks. It actually tastes good. We're just gonna figure out the situation to get it to stick on a little better next time. Actually, really freaking good. I strongly recommend the small job. Anyway, we're gonna take this video out. Um, super fun day today, absolutely smashed the smallmouth bass through the ice, it was my first smallmouth I ever caught through the ice, and it was like fish hunter, fish hunter, fish. Um, we practiced it selective harvest, we took some of the smaller fish, and when you take down the population like that a little bit, it allows the fish to grow a little bit bigger. So of course, follow the length, cold bag limits, everything else. But if you got smallmouth in your lakes, maybe go give them a try, because they're actually really, really delicious. Bass can be good too. Hopefully this offended a lot of you guys, I don't care if it did. And uh, yeah, let us know down below if you've ever tried this, if you've ever tried Frank's hot sauce or any other hot sauce on fish, and I'll catch you very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.